In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to recover deleted files from a flash drive using a SIFT workstation. There are some things that you may need for this exercise. Formatted flash disk, SIFT workstation, virtual software like uh, VMware. And the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that the flash disk has been detected by the machine. In my case, mine is called John Cena, and I can open it so that we verify that it's empty. You can see it's an empty flash. But, uh, root privileges. This is the command to switch to root privileges. Right. Then we run the app disk. Add this command. This command um, reviewed basic details about all the available partitions in the system. As you can see, this is my machine. This is my hard drive. All this is my hard drive. The command also um, is used to list the partitions on the system and see the um, slash dev names, all these names, and this right here. This is the flash drive. As you can see, it's um, an 8 gig. It's 7.5, it's 8 gig bytes. And uh, it's 512 files. Right. So, what we need to do now is to maneuver into my files. The files that I created already on my machine. I'm creating a directory called demo in cases. And I'm now moving to the directory. Now what you want to do is to create um, a X file which is called uh, project in uh, our folder demo uh, using this um, this is our input from our flash our block size is 512 and this is the project um, this is the name of the file which is called project. I now wait for the blocks to be extracted from flash drive. Right, since I'm um, Searching for JPEG files, I can Google, search from Google, the signature headers, the trailer. This is the signature header, and this is the trailer. So I can use the this signature header to search my X file, search from my X file. 
all the JPEG files using this command here. You can search that's uh, this command means a uh, search project uh, file, all the files with um, JPEG with this JPEG signature file signature header. And I'll enter. You can see there are a number of files, but I'll just pick one from my demonstration here. So I can copy. I can use the calculator to calculate, um, to convert um, this hex number to decimal so that I can divide by the um, block size. I can calculate using my, my calculator. You change, uh, you change your uh, calculator to programmer like this. One zero three eight. Okay, that is there. Then I take the decimal numbers. divide by um, the number of blocks, which is 412, and I get um, 33233, that's the number that I will use uh, as my header, as my signature header, 33233. What this command means is um, our input file, which is uh, our hex project, and this is our output. It's going to search, search in the project file and create this output file and append. JPEG files, where do you start? You start on this block, on this physical file. The block size is 512, and you count the trailer is 53. So, now what we need to do is to open our um, folder to see if we got anything. Our folder is called demo. And this is the file that has been created. Let's see if it is appended anything. Boom. We've recovered something. As you can see, it's very simple. Uh, it's a very nice cake. That was done for moment 60. So this is um, my simple demonstration of how to recover deleted files from a file from a flash. You can do this and recover so many files at once. But for my demonstration, I've shown you how to recover at least one of the files from from the flash. Thank you so much. You can subscribe to my channel. This is the end of the video.